Have you ever wondered what Minecraft would be like if it had realistic gravity? And no, I don't mean simply switching the gravity you experience as a player. I mean if the entire world was designed like a cube or sphere, with functioning gravity that pulled you to the center of the world and impacted mobs, entities, and other blocks. Would it even be possible? Would it work at all? Or would it lead me to have an unbearably nauseating, experience. This cave is not made for this kind of stuff. Well, I wanted to find out, so I downloaded a few different gravity mods, found some cool Minecraft Planet Earth maps, set them up, and played them. Here's what happened. Well, I'll give you a little bit of a sneak peek if you want to go, just want to see what happens. Look at that. How cool is that? So, the first few things I immediately noticed were, of course, limitations of the mod. Going into certain caves in certain locations provided me with an experience I could only describe as headache inducing. Now this wouldn't happen nearly as often if the map was substantially bigger of course, but it still brings up an interesting question. Theoretically speaking, if a Minecraft world was made to be cube shaped and had gravity, what would happen at certain points in underground caves where the directional pull of the gravity, I guess, overlaps? It's hard to explain, this visual helps illustrate what's going on though. Would you stand on the edge of blocks or would it constantly flip you back and forth like we are experiencing now? In the meantime, I was dead. Oh, an iron ingot actually might be quite valuable. Oh crap. And we're dead again. Oh, hang on, what's happening here? Oh, it's not gonna flip me back either. Well, this is strange. As I encountered a mob spawner, another theoretical question entered my mind. Many of the gravity mods only affect the player, but obviously if Minecraft did have real gravity in its design, the mobs would have to obey by the gravity like the players as well. And that would be rather interesting. I wonder if you could make some cool farms with it and how PvE and knockback would work. We'll come back to this a bit later in the video though. Guys, ready to watch some, some e-gaming? Oh, look at that. Look at that professional gameplay there. That's just 200 IQ. You can clearly see the flaws when the world isn't designed with gravity in mind. The items, floor of water, and many other mechanics require, well, let's just say some out-of-the-box thinking to interact with properly. In a theoretical real Minecraft with gravity, this likely wouldn't be an issue though. Will you go this way yet? Oh, 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 okay. Okay. But you know what, we've got to be careful with that. I don't want to accidentally fall into the lava. Okay, send me... Okay, send me back down anyways. How are you gonna get there though? Go fast? Yes, okay, that worked. Sort of. Yes, okay. Look at this guy, standing right next to lava. I don't see that every day. Oh, okay. We're on the desert side here. Poor cow. We should probably try and figure out what's going on the other sides of the planet. This might be very janky though. I have a feeling it's gonna be super janky. There's some good resources down there though. Let's see what happens. We've got our water bucket just in case. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. Um. Okay, hang on. This is getting confusing. I am going to skip you the headache, but I was genuinely stuck for about 10 minutes. In the meantime though, why don't you hit that subscribe button for me? Low pressure, of course. Is there a jungle temple in here? Is there any resources or loot? There is. Oh, very nice. It's a desert temple. Oh, there are actually chests in here. Trying to get this, this wood has proven a real challenge. Please give me an acacia sapling. Like I said, some out-of-the-box thinking required. Okay, we're gonna play a game of catch here. Catch the, fl the flying jungle wood. Alright. Um, oh, 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 oh. It's throwing me around. This is what I meant. It's getting confusing. This cave is not made for this kind of stuff. You may notice that there are some spots where even when I'm not moving, the gravity constantly switches me back and forth. If you are so epic, then why do my balls itch? <laughs> I have no- I don't have an answer for that man, unfortunately. Now while the nether wasn't planet-like in this map, it proposes an interesting problem. Because the nether has a lot of open parts and has terrain on both the top and bottom of it, what the hell would happen if it was a cube? Would the entire center just be a massive mass of lava, or an empty open area surrounded by terrain on all sides? Would it be like one gigantic cave? And what would happen if you fell into an open space where the gravity switches and keeps flipping you? There we go. A wee farm is ready for action. Wow, now that is definitely something you don't see every day, huh? So I decided to build a mob farm, which came with a few challenges of its own, as part of the grinder had overlapping gravity, which made things relatively interesting. Alright, 
We need to dig this out. We need to dig this out while being sideways. Let's get rid of these chests first, I guess. Now, obviously, provided Minecraft was designed with gravity in mind, I wouldn't be building a mob grinder sideways, but it makes you think, what would happen if you built a mob farm or found a mob spawner at intersecting gravity pools? Could you use the gravity as part of the farm design? XP is not that valuable once we get this thing set up. Thank you for the extra full damage. One or two more down, I think we need to go. That's low enough, I think. It's a bit squarish, but whatever. It would it will do the job still. That's fine. There we go. Uh, what? What's going on? Are we going to actually drown from this? Why can I not move? Oh, for God's sake, I'm in the block again. The skeletons will be stuck in that block, and because they always try to go up in this version, they'll be pushed up into this one. One water here, one sign there, and one sign here as well. Let's skip ahead. This is nauseating. And after a long two hours, we are done. Yep, they're on their way up. No damage from the sun. And down they go. Down they go. Yay! This is so odd. This is really odd to look at, guys. I don't know about you, but this is... Oh, no, it does straight away now. But yes, this is our sideways skeleton farm. Hey, I have an idea. Hang on, guys. I have an idea. Look at that. Just too too intelligent for this game. It works. Alright. Harvested the wheat. Lovely. Nice little setup here. First time we're actually building something nice looking on this planet Earth. We're going to leave that one at the top actually like that. I kind of like that. I'm going to wrap around here. No! They don't go the right way. Mojang, vertical slabs, please. Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, no, hang on, that works. Nice. There we go. All right, this thing looks pretty cool. We designed it all up nice. And thus, this concludes the first build in my somewhat realistic gravity experiment. Quite cozy, if I do say so myself. Now, because of the limited resources of this map, and the fact that the end and the nether weren't planets, there wasn't really that much left I could do with the gravity mod here. So I decided to build a small house that utilizes two directions of the gravity to see what it would be like if you theoretically built on the corner of a Minecraft cube world. There were some blatant issues with one of the sides of the house though, and that was that many blocks such as chests aren't going to work properly and are going to make things very awkward to navigate. My gravity experiment was kind of dodgy, but it did raise a lot of potential problems Minecraft would have if it would try to implement a planetary world and gravity though. A spherical model of gravity might fit better, and then there's the blaring issues with mobs, liquids, entities, and one major thing, the blocks not being properly rotated. However, there does exist one very old mod though, mostly forgotten now, which somewhat solves some of these problems. The Star Miner mod, last updated to 1.7.10, a version of Minecraft which is almost 9 years old, has some one-of-a-kind gravity functionalities. This mod was very famous back in the day, with a variety of YouTubers making videos about it, getting millions of views each. It was very ahead of its time, and even today, there is nothing still entirely like it. Basically, it added what was known as stars to the game, sizable planets which naturally generate with their own gravitational pulls. If you went high enough into the sky, you would enter space and find even larger spherical stars, and this right here is probably the closest Minecraft has ever been to having realistic gravity. Just look at how cool this is, it's even low gravity and you float like you would in space. But anyways, we aren't here to do a 2014 Minecraft mod review, let's talk about its gravity. First of all, it has a core block with a spherical gravity setting that supports the planetary shape better. And you can actually play while in different forms of gravity somewhat normally, as the mod also features special blocks and items that can be placed on any rotation. There's the bed and chest, both of which can be placed, look normal and are functional on any gravitational rotation, and then there's a variety of saplings which can be placed and will grow on any rotation as well. There is even a version of dirt called star dirt, which is like a rotated form of the grass block. You can even farm with crops as there exist seeds, carrots and potatoes in a rotated form, meaning I can actually build my janky wheat farm from earlier properly this time. Decorational blocks like a variety of flowers, ferns and grass also have a rotated state. The footage you are watching now is me playing on another player built Minecraft planet and building a sideways house that's entirely functional. Well, mostly. 
Now, while Star Miner has been forgotten for years with no updates in sight, not all hope is lost. There is currently an in development modern mod named simply Star Miner, aiming to replicate some of its better features while also expanding upon it. The dev Fusion Flux was kind enough to provide me with an early testing version, and this mod seems like it has a lot of potential. And you know why? This is exactly why. Mobs and even most entities do function within the gravity, meaning you could very well play like this. Mobs will naturally spawn on different gravity sides as well, and even bows and projectiles seem to work perfectly fine. The mod is still in early development, there's no rotated blocks yet, although you can use shulker boxes to get around this problem, and I found that occasionally it completely froze my game sometimes, when the radius of the gravitational pull was too large. But still, imagining myself running around, PvPing mobs or even players in different gravities is an exciting thought. If Minecraft ever were to have a realistic gravity in a non-flat world, then to a limited extent, both Star Miner mods give us a realistic idea of what it would be like, and I have to say, I'd love to try it. Now ultimately though, Star Miner and these other gravity mods are far from perfect. If Minecraft were to actually have realistic gravity, a lot would still have to be changed for it to be functional, not to mention requiring much, much larger planet generated worlds to minimize the chance of things like this happening. And I think judging by the fact that to this day, Star Miner has not been updated or seen another project reach its level of gravitational feats, well not yet anyways, making a game with entirely functional gravity, especially when it's a sandbox with an entirely destructible and constructible environment, must be immensely difficult. I hope you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe, thank you all so much for watching.